Calling somebody a goat used to be an insult. Today, it's the highest praise. And there are not many goats out there. Who's the greatest of all time is a popular debate in many barbershops, school halls, office spaces, and TV panels. And without further ado, here's our take on sports greatest. Football, Leo Messi. For all Cristiano Ronaldo fans out there, please realize that I too love Cristiano and that he's definitely in this conversation because he sustained greatness for 17 years and counting. If you wanted to make a case for Cristiano, you could because he has won gold with Portugal and is superior to Messi in certain aspects of the game. The most obvious example is aerial play, simply because he is taller and has supreme athleticism. Ronaldo's sprints without the ball are also unmatched in football, and his dedication to the sport is second to none. All that being said, I'd still give a slight nod to Messi. Two years younger, he has an equally sustained level of world-class play ever since he stepped onto the scene in 2005. And if there was one word Calling to describe Messi, it would be genius. His dribbling, finishing, ball control, and feel for the game are the things we haven't seen before or since. Nobody does what he can do. When he runs with the ball, it sticks to his feet, and it almost seems like he's faster with it than without it. He also became one of the best playmakers in the game, and probably the best free kick taker. Yes, he's never won gold with the national team, but he was a part of some poorly managed teams, even though he was clearly the best player on the pitch. Honorable mention goes to the original Ronaldo, who was equally as good at his peak as Messi and Cristiano. It's just that his peak was cut short due to multiple knee injuries. And also to Pele, who was considered the GOAT for a long time, but both Ronaldo and Messi will exceed his official goal tally and will do so in modern football, which is probably 10 times faster and more complex than the football in the 1950s. Basketball, Michael Jordan. If you ask 100 people who is the GOAT of basketball, some people will say it's LeBron, some will say it's Kareem, while others will put Bill Russell in the front because he has the most ranks. However, most of them will say the greatest basketball player who ever walked the face of the earth was Michael Jeffrey Jordan. MJ has everything needed for the GOAT argument. He's got the titles. He's got the MVPs. Some people have better stats, but that's more due to the quantity of seasons in which they played than the difference in quality. Jordan was equally good offensively and defensively. He was an athletic demigod, but still extremely fundamentally sound. He had the handles, he had the shooting touch, and could stay in the air longer than anybody. There were absolutely no deficiencies in his game. All that was complemented with overwhelming passion for the game, larger than life charisma, and a huge impact on the sport globally, which MJ brought to heights never reached before. Like President Obama said when he gave MJ the Presidential Medal of Freedom, there is a reason why they call somebody the Michael Jordan of their profession if they are the best at what they do. Hockey, Wayne Gretzky. What Lionel Messi is in football, Wayne Gretzky is in hockey. Smaller than everyone, but better than everyone as well. Gretzky came to the league in 1979 and immediately won an MVP award, which he will then claim for eight seasons straight. He's the leading scorer in NHL history and has more goals, assists, and hat tricks than any other player. He won four Stanley Cups as a member of the Edmonton Oilers and is credited to change the game of hockey forever. More team-oriented play, constructed around finding the open space and letting the power of the pass rule the game, is all tied to Gretzky. Most sports have these heartfelt debates around who's the GOAT, Messi or Ronaldo, LeBron or Jordan, Brady or Montana. In hockey, there is little to no debate. The greatest player ever to put on skates is Wayne Gretzky. Boxing. Really full-time, big match meals delivered from Uber Eats. So there's this bike shop slash cafe slash bar set up by these guys, right? And people were like, what? One day, Muhammad Ali. In the modern era, there have been many heavyweights that would give Ali problems due to their superior size or strength. Prime Mike Tyson needed just one punch to send you to sleep, and even Ali himself admitted he would probably knock him out. Heavyweight greats like Lewis, Klitschko, or Tyson Fury all have a significant height and reach advantage over Ali, and it would be tough for him to beat them. Floyd Mayweather has the undefeated record going for him in the GOAT conversation, and Sugar Ray Robinson has the number of victories. But whatever each boxer does, from now until the end of time, Muhammad Ali will still be the greatest. He's still the most known boxer ever, even though his career finished almost 40 years ago. His fight for human rights, legendary trash talk, unbelievable smarts, and silky smooth footwork made Ali the greatest champion in boxing history. There may have been better fighters than him, but Ali is the greatest. MMA, John Jones. 
Now, in the MMA, unlike other sports on the list, there are multiple people that could claim the GOAT moniker, and it's more complicated to name just one person. First, we had Fedor Emelianenko, the Russian heavyweight who has been undefeated for 10 years in pride and is an absolute legend of the sport. Then came Georges St. Pierre, who did get beaten only twice in his career, avenged both his losses, and has ruled the welterweight division for almost a decade. And then four years after his retirement, he captured the golden middleweight as well. GSP had an incredible fighting IQ and was extremely well-versed in all aspects of MMA and could win fights with his stand-up, ground game, or endurance. Demetrius Johnson is another fighter of the same ilk, and as far as skill set goes, he doesn't have to look up to anybody, and his six-year UFC reign produced some of the most spectacular and breathtaking finishes we've ever seen. Anderson Silva could also be the GOAT, as he is probably the best striker that ever lived. His technique was flawless, and he had flair for days. Prime Anderson was an unsolvable mystery for every middleweight in the world, and he holds the record for the longest title reign in UFC history at 2,457 days, with 16 consecutive wins during that stretch. And even though all these guys are worthy of the GOAT title, we had to go with John Jones. When we are talking performance, then John Jones is the greatest, simply because the man has never been beaten in the octagon and is arguably the most complete and most talented fighter ever. Multiple PED and out of sports scandals aside, when that octagon door closed behind him, Johnny Bones has defeated every single opponent that came in there with him, and that's why he's the best ever. Football, Tom Brady. Joe Montana versus Tom Brady debate is similar to LeBron versus MJ. Legend of the past, with some stricter rules and more physical play, versus the modern version, who has longevity and recency on his side. However, Brady also has six rings compared to Montana's four. Even though he played in the best organization, with the best coach, and some all-time great teammates, it's fair to say that he surpassed Montana and that his sixth championship was the clincher. In the history of football, there has never been a field general so consistent with both individual achievements and team success intertwined. Six-time Super Bowl champion, four-time Super Bowl MVP, three NFL MVP awards, 20 years of dominance. The numbers speak for themselves, and that's why Tom Brady is the GOAT. Squeaky clean image, great golf game, and Giselle are the icing to Brady's cake. Baseball, Babe Ruth. In the case of Pele in football, or Bill Russell in basketball, their birth certificate is held against them in the GOAT conversation. Yes, Pele scored 700-plus goals, but he did it against low-level clubs 50 years ago, against people who had regular jobs. The same is true for Bill Russell and his 11 NBA rings. However, when it comes to baseball, Babe Ruth is still considered the greatest even though there are not many people alive today who have seen him play. Yes, he did play when segregation was in place, and his competition was far away from current athletes' capabilities. But still, he was the best player of his era by a wide margin, and he still holds some of the all-time records in baseball. Ruth is Major League Baseball's all-time leader in career war, wins above replacement, a stat that is translatable to any era. The Great Bambino is also the all-time leader in slugging percentage, 0.690, and on-base plus slugging, 1.164. He's second in runs batted in 2,214, and on-base percentage, and third all-time in home runs. Outside of being a world-class slugger, he was also a dominant pitcher, which sets him apart from other great hitters like Barry Bonds or Willie Mays. Ruth is a seven-time World Series winner. He was the most popular sports figure of his time, and a player who is arguably more dominant over his sport than any other athlete since. Tennis, Roger Federer. In tennis, every GOAT debate revolves around the big three, Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic. There have been great champions before, but nobody has held the same dominance of the sport for so long. The three have monopolized the Grand Slams, and since 2003, when Federer won his first, they have won 55 out of the last 66 majors which is mesmerizing. Of the last 16 years, Federer, Djokovic, and Nadal have spent 15 and a half, 95% ranked world number one. Nadal is without a doubt the king of clay, winning 12 Roland Garros titles, which is a record for a single Grand Slam tournament and has 19 overall slams. Djokovic has 17 major titles and Federer has 20, and that's why he is still the GOAT. Roger played probably the most beautiful tennis ever, and when he was at his peak, he was in a class of his own. Still, Fed is likely at the very sunset of his career, and Nadal and Djokovic have all the tools to surpass him in the coming years, collect more slams, and dethrone him from the GOAT status. Golf, Tiger Woods. 
Like many other sports, golf also has a two-person debate for the greatest of all time, Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. If we are comparing the two, Nicklaus definitely gets the nod at the majors, where he's the all-time leader with 18 wins. Also, he came in second additional 19 times and had a record 56 top five finishes. With 15 major titles, Tiger is three short of Jack's 18. On the other hand, Tiger is the all-time leader with 82 PGA Tour wins, and Nicholas comes in third with 73 PGA victories. So the clincher comes down to context and dominance over the sport of golf. And that's why we chose Tiger as the GOAT. When Tiger was at his best, he played golf better than it's ever been played before. His 15 strokes margin of victory at the 2000 US Open is one of the greatest performances in the history of golf. Woods won by 11 or more strokes four times in his career, while Jack's best result was a nine-stroke margin. Tiger is also the only player to win four consecutive majors and has the lowest scoring average in PGA Tour history and the highest win percentage. If he didn't have bad luck with injuries, he probably would have exceeded Jack's 18 majors by now. If he does catch him, even the hardest Nicholas fans will have to admit Tiger is the greatest. For us, he already is, even if he never makes another putt in his life.